everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we are going to create some terracotta pots. Woohoo! <laughs> and I am using the Sculpey Original Terracotta Colored Clay um, to create these pots. And I'm rolling out a small portion of this clay, and I created a one inch diameter ball, and then I'm forming this into a teardrop. Now I'm taking that teardrop right here, and I'm pushing down on both sides, okay? And this way then, there, you know, both of the ends will be blunted and it will form your terracotta pot for you. Once I have that done, I took a piece of this clay and I rolled it out on a number three setting on my pot Atlas pasta machine. I then used my smallest Ateco circle cutter and I cut out a small circle. I then rolled out more of this clay and I cut strips from this slab. I used my tissue blade to bring up that clay and then with one of these strips that I'm cutting right now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around the circle I just cut out. This will then give you the dish your terracotta pot can sit in. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the main part of what is going to be our terracotta pot, and I'm gonna take one of those strips and put it around the top edge. And that strip is gonna kind of come up above the actual um, edge of the pot, and it will give you the look of where it looks more and more like the terracotta pot we're supposed to be making here today. Now we will go ahead and use our largest camper cut circle cutter to cut out a circle from a slab of dark brown clay and run that clay through your pasta machine on a number one or two setting. You're going to take that little disc and you're going to place it right in the center of the terracotta pot and then use your burnisher to go ahead and make little indents into that brown clay. This will give you kind of a stylized look of dirt. Once you have your dirt all kind of, you know, indented in and you've kind of burnished the areas where you kind of make the pot look nice and neat, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that little terracotta pot on its plate. And this terracotta pot is fairly squat, it's kind of short. So I made a second one, as you can see on the other side here, and I'm also taking my, um, my needle tool here and making a hole down the middle in the center. So the one on the left is fairly squat and the other one on the right side is fairly tall. Alright, so here I've created a third terracotta pot and I want to go ahead and add this in to um, prepping these pots for all sorts of fun flowers. I'm taking some 22 to 26 gauge wire, this is um, dark green wire, and I'm just going to place it right down into the center of my terracotta pot. And I have that middle one right there, kind of that will act as the stem, but the next couple I'm going to cut off a couple more and I just want to put those in for fun. It's kind of a stylized version. And I'm going to go ahead and make little curly cues up on these things where you can add in leaves or whatever you want to do. So right here, I'm going ahead and I'm just adding a little bit of super glue on the bottom of this particular terracotta pot. These pots have now been baked. So, you know, I baked them at the regular 275 
for about, oh, 10 to 15 minutes. Not terribly long, but long enough so that they harden up really good. And then again, also with the ones where I've prepped the wire, I'm putting them in their separate dishes and you can then see all of these together. And there I have my taller pot. So there's my three pots. Here I have the stages I went through to creating these pots. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. And as always, I'm sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.